Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Alright guys, what do we have today? Alright, so this is the new C41 color negative film from Oro. Alright, and this is the NC500. Alright, more about it later. And then um, the other row that I have is also from them, Oro. And this is NC400. Alright, also a C41 film. So these two look very familiar. Alright, so let's have a closer look on the NC500 film. So these two rows are kindly sent to me from 8 Story 3. I'll put a link to their website. If you are interested, you can purchase the rows from them. But now let's take a closer look on the film itself. They're saying that this is a limited edition, so there's no paper box um, that comes with it. So it just comes in this uh, plastic container. So I can see that this is probably hand rule, even the sticker seems to be hand pasted on but let's see what information can we get from the uh, sticker itself right so it say that it's uh, 36 exposure ISO 400 eh? so this is quite important despite the name NC500 right it's um, rated at ISO 400 so um, here it say that you're supposed to process in C41 right? the NC400 looks quite the same um, only here the color is different from the NC500 so it stayed the same thing ISO 436 exposure uh, the rest of the things are the same right. so I understand that uh, from some other review I gather that this NC500 is more of the warm tone and NC400 is more of the cool tone right? so what I will do today is to load in the NC500 and uh, take it for a spin
Alright, so I got back the negative from the lab. They have also scanned it for me. Um, which is why um, they didn't cut the negative for me. It's still was returned to me uncut. I'm not so sure is this a common practice this day for the lab. See this uh, Orof NC500. The negative it has a very little orange base. If I were to show you one, right? This is from the uh, Kodak 5219 Cine uh, film. Uh. So you can see the difference in the orange base here. The Orof NC500 seems to be more yellow, right? Okay. So here I'm using the Cine steel Instagram filter to try to get a quick review of the negative. So just uh, apply the Cine steel filter, tap on the screen and it will show up uh, a few controls. And the last two, the saturation and the colors control are the one that I use to um, get a positive out of the negative. So just adjust the level and then you should be able to get a positive image. Right. So hope this helps for people who just want to have a quick review of their Aura NC500 negatives. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.